Hey guys, it's Parker. So today we're here with the 2016 Ford Focus, a vehicle that offers a ton of features you wouldn't normally expect. For instance, with remote start, you simply double tap on the key fob, the car starts right up. You've even got intelligent access. You can keep the key fob in your pocket at all times. You simply walk up to the front door of the car, pull on the handle, and hop right in. We're taking the car down to Ford's Research and Innovation Center in Palo Alto, California. Let's get going. Let's talk a little bit about Park Assist. When you activate Park Assist, the car is scanning to the left and to the right, depending upon where your indicator is positioned. Pull up until the console tells you stop the vehicle, put it in reverse. This system will actually turn the steering wheel for you in order to maneuver. All you have to do is provide brake inputs and gas inputs in order to get yourself into the parking spot. And it actually works pretty well. Sync 3 in the 2016 Focus is a massive improvement. Gonna plug the phone into the smart USB charging port. There's also one in the center console as well. Now let's pull up Spotify on the iPhone. And as you can see, a song has come up. You can go into the menu, see your favorite playlists, and head to the navigation, for example. You've got pinch to zoom capabilities that allow you to zoom in on the maps. It responds very quickly and is a lot like uh, your typical smartphone. Go over to App Link, so click this button. You've got a whole host of third party apps from Spotify, Domino's, AccuWeather. So now I can put my phone away, still stay connected, and focus on the road. So let's get going. Hi, hey, Parker. Um, nice to meet you. Oh, Annette, I am a vehicle engineer here at Ford, and it looks like you just got to test drive our 2016 Focus. It's got a ton of technology, both on the exterior and interior, that typically is only offered in more higher-end vehicles. Oh, like our intelligent access that allows you to keep the key fob in your pocket when entering the vehicle, and then once you're in, the push button start. And then Sync 3, you guys majorly improved that over the last one, which is kind of sluggish. So Sync 3, it is our communication and entertainment system. You can call up your favorite apps, use Siri, get directions, make and receive calls, and even reserve a table at your favorite restaurant, all on an eight inch screen that works a lot like your smartphone. Absolutely, I like that it supports third party apps, Spotify, Pandora, stuff like that. It makes me feel more connected. Seems like Ford is trying to make your life easier. Absolutely, you're always on your smartphone, this vehicle now has two USB charging ports that um, charge your phone twice as fast as it did before. That's awesome, because normally you're playing Spotify, you're using maps, and your phone's dying even though it's plugged in, and <laughs> that's kind of a bummer. I'm terrible at parking. You've got parallel park assist. I thought that was awesome. Yeah, active park assist works by reading and measuring a parking space. Then, with minimal shifting, accelerating, and braking by the driver, the car steers itself into the space. You'll never be intimidated by parallel parking again. And it definitely either scares or excites your passengers watching the steering wheel rip around when you're, <laughs> you don't have your hands on the wheel, just the brake and the gas. That's pretty cool. Somewhat entertaining all on its own. <laughs> Thank you so much for having me out here. This was oh, my an absolute pleasure. pleasure. really really cool thanks for watching be sure to subscribe to the ford channel for more videos and let us know what you think about the ford focus in the comment section below